Hi, welcome to Fusion Beads. Today I'm going to show you how to create our Paisley Peacock Bracelet. This bracelet is made with Zoli Duos and seed beads. These Zoli Duos are Paisley shaped beads with two holes. One side is flat, so there is both a left and a right version for you to use in your designs. To make this bracelet, you're going to need size 11 matte opaque faded oil slick seed beads, 5x8 alabaster pastel patrol two hole Zoli Duo left version and right version, a 15 millimeter lobster clasp, your fireline braided bead thread, a beading needle, and your Zeron thread and fiber scissors. You can find all of the links for these products and tools in the description below. Okay, let's get started. To make this Paisley Peacock bracelet, you're first going to want to thread about five feet of fire line onto your needle. And from there, you're going to want to pick up seven of the seed beads. One more, seven. Okay, and then you want to pick up the left version of the Zoli Duo. So there's the right or the left version here and the right version there. So you want to do the seven seed beads. The left version, the first hole of that left version. So that first hole down there at the bottom. One seed bead. And then the right version, the first hole there. Just bring that down, leave about few inches of a tail there at the end. And then from here, you're just gonna go back through those seven seed beads. And then through that same first hole of the left version of the Zoli Duo. Through the seed bead and then through that first hole of the right version. You just want to pull tight. And that's just going to create the loop end for your clasp. So we just want to reinforce that by going through one more time, just going through all those beads once again. So those seven seed beads And the first hole of the left version of the Zoli Duo, that middle seed bead. And then the first hole of the right version. Okay, so I want to end up going through this first hole of the left version right there. That's where I'm going to want to come out of. So I'm just going to go through the seven seed beads again. And then just come up through that first hole, the left version. Okay, so you're just coming out right like that. And you're gonna to wanna to step up to that second hole of that same left version and go through. You're gonna have the thread just going from that first hole up to that second hole. And you're gonna add a seed bead. And then skip that seed bead and go just back through 
that second hole and pull tight. Just like that. Now from here, we're gonna wanna add the first hole of the left version. One seed bead. And then that first hole of the, the right version. So it'll be duo. Pull tight. And that's your second row, as you can see. So that's just gonna sit right on top there like that. And then you're gonna wanna go through that second hole of that right version Zobie Duo from the first row here. And pull tight. Okay, and that's gonna lock it into place just like that. Now from here, you're gonna wanna add another seed bead. And skip the seed bead and go back through that second hole of that right version and then go through the first hole of the right version in the second row. You want to make sure you keep your tension real tight. We're going to actually go ahead and reinforce as we go. So to do that, so now you're coming out this first hole of the right version in the second row. Go back through that middle seed bead, down the first hole of the left version, and the second hole of the left version from the first row. And you're going to want to come back out that seed bead and pull tight. And then you want to skip the seed bead and go back through that second hole in the first row and the first hole in the second row. Through the middle seed bead, down through that first hole of the right version and the second hole of the right version in the first row. Through that C bead. It's coming out just like that. Skip that C bead. You're gonna go back through that second hole. and then back through that first hole in that second row. And that just kind of reinforces it so it's not so flimsy and loose as you're working. So now the first step up we did on this side and now we're over here onto the right side and we're gonna step up to the second hole of this right version from the second row. Okay, just like that. And then you wanna add a seed bead. And we're gonna skip the seed bead, go back through that second hole. you pull tight, the thread's not loose, and then we're going to add the right version, Zobi Duo, and then the left version. So the right, one seed bead, and then the left, and those are the first hole of those beads. Then you're going to go through that second hole from this left version Zoe Duo in the second row here. So you go through that second hole, you pull tight, and that's going to just lock those into place just like that. 
you add your seed bead. And you go back through that second hole and through that first hole in the third row. Make sure and pull tight. And then we're gonna do the same thing here where you just reinforce this row. So you go through the seed bead through that first hole of the right version, the second hole, through that second hole of that second row there, through the seed bead, And you're just going to go back through back through that second hole there from the row two, back through the first hole from row three, through the middle seed bead, back down through the first hole and the second hole on the left side. Go through that seed bead, back down, back up through there we go, back up through second hole from the second row and the first hole in the third row. Just pull tight. Now we're on this side again. So we're going to step up, go to the second hole in that left version, the third row, pick up your seed bead, go back through that second hole, pull tight. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that same pattern until I get to about seven inches. And then I can add my clasp to finish off the bracelet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, now you can see that I have my seven inch length of my bead woven bracelet here. You can make it shorter or longer depending on the wrist size that you're going for. But I went with the seven inches. And so then to the create the other end of the clasp, going to want to, when you come out of that last solely dual bead, the first hole of that last bead, you're going to want to step up to the second hole. Just go through there, add a seed bead, and then go back through that second hole. And then from here, you want to add three seed beads. your clasp, and then three more seed beads. Okay, then from there you want to go through that second hole of that left Soli Duo. Add a seed bead and then go back through that hole. And then from here, all you need to do is just reinforce. So you're just going to want to go through your seed beads.
through the clasp again. And through that second hole of that Soli Duo. Through that C bead. And then back through. So through all those seed beads again, through the clasp, back down those three seed beads, through that second hole of that left Soli Duo, through the seed bead there, and then back through that second hole. And then at this point, you kind of just want to secure it by making a knot. It's going to go right between the Zoli Duo and that C bead. So just right in between here. Do that one more time. Make your loop. And just pull tight. And we'll just be nice and secure in place. And just take your scissors, cut off the thread. And there you go. Now you have your cute Paisley Peacock bracelet made with left and right version Zoli Duos. You can find all of the product and tools for this design at FusionBeads.com.